but we are backstage we can see the WWE Champion The Rock and that only means one thing it is time for the main event of the evening it is going to be the WWE Champion The Great One The Rock defending that championship against the former champion CM Punk and what a great event this is going to be to close out an amazing pay-per-view we've had this evening The Rock of course winning that championship at the Royal Rumble last month after CM Punk held that championship for a record number of days the longest reigning WWE Champion of the modern era with ease but The Rock the first man to the ring championship in hand the fans going absolutely wild for the great one probably the most popular guy we've got on the roster and he is going to be facing one of the most unpopular guys on the roster at least as far as casual fans go and here he is the challenger the former WWE champion he's also a former world heavyweight champion former tag team champion, former IC champion, former Ring of Honor champion, CM Punk has done it all in this business. But he is looking to add another reign of WWE champion to his already impressive resume. Being accompanied by Paul Heyman who we can see just over the shoulder of CM Punk. I'm sure Heyman is going to be a factor in this contest. Paul Heyman though waving his client on I'm sure CM Punk has got a great chance of once again becoming the WWE Champion and we are only moments away from Rock versus CM Punk for the second time ever once again WWE Championship on the line The Rock coming out on top at the Rumble but is it going to be CM Punk's turn to come out on top here tonight at the Elimination Chamber we are going to find out as the WWE Championship graphic is on the screen right now guys just confirming this match is going to be for the title and we are underway the rock with the early advantage wrapping that armour but CM Punk showing his technical skill as the crowd chant Rocky the power advantage definitely goes to the great one but I would definitely give the speed and technical skill advantage to CM Punk much more of a technical kind of style submission style whereas The Rock is going to be hard hitting and straight to the point oh an early Samoan drop by the WWE Champion taking the challenger down but CM Punk straight back in The Rock's face with that drop kick a quick Irish whip oh signature double knee to the WWE Champion's chin another shot to the chin with that big knee a mixed start from both competitors but at the moment The Rock regaining control snapping that neck down that snap neck breaker of course in previous months including at the Royal Rumble The Shield has come to the aid of CM Punk but we have been told The Shield are definitely not going to interfere in this contest so this contest should be strictly one on one despite Paul Heyman being at ringside oh diving spear off the turnbuckle spinning Rocky around Irish whip ducks down under oh another kick to the jaw of the great one but the rock possibly adrenaline fueled straight to his feet but that time blocking off the chop with an elbow of his own to CM Punk's face and now the great one firing shot after shot back to that arm locking that arm up sending Punk into the corner and a punch oh another clothesline like I was saying nothing too kind of technical with the rock he is just going to be smash mouth hard hitting straight to the point we can see Paul Heyman once again on the apron as the rock connects with a second Samoan drop off the ropes oh going for a third drop kick the rock though duck and neck kick to the gut into the headlock but CM Punk oh but Rocky again 
The Rock's shown why he is WWE Champion. Another shot to the jaw of Punk, going for a follow-up. Oh, but CM Punk with that spinning forearm smash. Off the ropes, taking him down with a springboard clothesline. Followed up by a nice leg drop by the so-called best in the world, but the great one this time, countering that move again. These two men locking up very, very even early on as The Rock hits a variation of a neck breaker onto the knee of the great one. Another elbow drop. Do not forget to let me know, guys, down in the comments section below. If you're watching this as part of my full pay-per-view simulation, let me know your full pay-per-view predictions. And if you can get 100%, then you will get a shout-out slash mention on the next pay-per-view video, which, of course, is going to be WrestleMania. Speaking of WrestleMania, the winner of this match, you have to presume, will enter Mania as the champion, so at the moment it's looking like The Rock. We already know who the challenger is going to be because the winner of last month's Royal Rumble was of course John Cena for the second time in his illustrious career. So currently it's looking like The Rock Cena two at WrestleMania, but if CM Punk is able to win this match, then we will once again be seeing CM Punk taking on John Cena. Of course we've seen that match many times previously, but that match never fails to disappoint. So if we do see CM Punk John Cena at, at WrestleMania, then despite the fact that we've seen it before, I'm sure that match is going to be a classic and that these two guys can take their matches to the next level at Mania. But in saying that, The Rock is the current champion, so if The Rock wins this contest, and that is going to be confirming Rock versus Cena number two. Of course, number one happened in last year at WrestleMania, where The Rock defeated John Cena thanks to a rock bottom going to be interesting to see if the WWE want to see Rock vs Cena 2 but this time it's going to be arguably bigger than before as the WWE Championship is going to be on the line but that is going to be Wrestlemania guys we are at the Elimination Chamber the Rock CM Punk WWE Championship on the line a very even back and forth contest as CM Punk sends Rock for the ride into the fast paced scoop slam Oh, but The Rock pushing CM Punk away again. Big clothesline taking the challenger down. And now Rock going straight after the arm of CM Punk. Paul Heyman though on the outside of the ring. Pulling the feet of the great one. And The Rock going straight out after Paul Heyman. Oh, but back in the ring. Straight in. It looks like he's going to hit it. GGS on The Rock. Thanks to a distraction by Paul Heyman. One, two. Oh, not even a two count. The Rock feel the pure adrenaline kicking out of that GTS. Obviously not the Rock snap time just yet. But there is still plenty of time to go in this contest. Boston Crab. Again though, Paul Heyman on the apron distracting The Rock. Definitely a big advantage to CM Punk in regards to Heyman being at ringside. Referee there looks like he could be losing his patience of Heyman. I'm sure of Heyman interferes a couple more times and Paul Heyman is going to be sent backstage as we saw The Rock go ahead first into that turnbuckle and now he's walked straight in to a nice vertical delayed suplex by the best in the world CM Punk with a nice suplex now Punk going top rope oh but Punk delaying it good speed by The Rock throwing Punk down again and now Rock's turn with a big knee to the face of Punk into the cover one only a one cap that time CM Punk nowhere near softened up enough yet oh but Rock though into the abdominal stretch but once again Heyman on the on ringside another distraction allowing CM Punk to get out of that move and again another big kick to the face of the great one as the Rock is sent head first oh I'm going for an elbow drop but the Rock diving out of the way CM Punk crashing and burning this match continues on the outside of the ring. The referee is not counting. This match does have the qualifications, but the referee is showing a bit of leeway, not counting out these either of these competitors. CM Punk in a bad, bad situation. CM Punk on the announce table with the rocking control. I thought we were going to see a rock bottom, but we didn't. We saw a DDT 
A DDT onto the former WWE Champion. The former champion that is commanding respect from the WWE Universe. And if CM Punk is to regain that respect, then you've got to think Punk has got to be defeating the Great One tonight with the WWE Championship. Winning that championship for a second time in Punk's career. Or should I say the third time in his career? I think The Rock going for a GTS. Oh, what a counter by Punk. Of course, Punk's own move, so Punk knows the best way out of it. Followed up by a double arm backbreaker. Vintage CM Punk. This match does have the torification, so I'm not quite sure what CM Punk's thinking. Throwing that steel chair now into the ring. Possibly a tactic by, by Punk, maybe. The Rock looks a little bit confused. The Rock doesn't quite know what exactly Punk is thinking, but The Rock, nevertheless, following Punk to the ring. Punk with that steel chair. Oh, but The Rock kicking Punk in the gut before Punk can use it. Rock the wake up taunt. Oh, it's time. Rock bottom. Rock bottom onto CM Punk into the cover. Oh, only a two count. CM Punk kicking out after a long, long two count. Referee now getting rid of the steel chairs. Still not quite sure what Punk is thinking with that. Maybe Punk has something in mind, but I guess we will never know. This match continues. A couple of kicks and a big one to finish off the great one. The great one down to the mat once again. CM Punk again, though, with that steel chair. He's clearly got something in mind. Bringing one chair back into the ring. Oh, The Rock, though, grabbing the chair before Punk could use it. Oh, The Rock turned to put that chair out of the ring. CM Punk going for a sneak attack, but The Rock, the veteran, too wise for that. Centre of the ring once again. Punk back on that arm, locking it up. Gut buster by Punk. They're now pulling Rocky, centre of the ring. Punk going top rope, he's going to go for an elbow drop, no. Oh, he's going for an unconventional moonsault. We do not see CM Punk do that move very often. We only see him pull that move out on special occasions. And it cannot get not much more special than the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Punk versus Rock. WWE Championship on the line, going for a drop kick, but The Rock ducks it. Into a close line, but The Punk again. Oh, but Rock, reversing the Irish whip. Punk now trapped in the corner. Oh, but getting out of it, but the great one again, but Punk ducking it. Oh, nice combination of moves into the GTS, GTS on Rock. For the second time in this contest, and now go for the Anaconda Vice. Anaconda Vice locked in on the great one. Is the WWE Champion going to tap out? And is Punk once again going to regain that championship that he lost at the Royal Rumble? We're going to find out in a couple of seconds as the great one rivaling in paint. CM Punk locking it in all he can, but the great one finally kicking out that move. Oh, CM Punk walking in to a huge spine buster by the great one. And that spine buster can only be followed up by one thing. It is time for the most electrifying move in all of entertainment. The Rock coming up, people's elbow, bang, people's elbow to the heart of CM Punk, but The Rock surprisingly not going for the cover. Rock out to Paul Heyman, what's going on here, Paul Heyman? Oh, a punch to Paul Heyman. Oh, Rock bottom. Rock obviously feels that as long as Heyman is up and about, that he's not gonna get the one, two, three on Punk. But The Rock taking care of that, Rock bottom onto Heyman. In our wake up taunt, is Punk going to turn around to a rock bottom? Yes, he is. Rock bottom for the second time under CM Punk. Rock bottom under CM Punk. One, two, three. We could see Paul Heyman staggering around ringside, and even Paul Heyman could not do enough to help CM Punk for the second pay per view in a row, for the second month in a row. The great one, The Rock has defeated CM Punk and The Rock is going to be WWE Champion going into Wrestlemania coming up at the next pay-per-view the only question is now guys where does that leave CM Punk for the biggest event in sports entertainment oh Punk on a microphone 
Punk demanding respect from the WWE Universe and Punk will get that respect by beating anyone put in front of him. Oh, this can only mean one thing. The gong of The Undertaker hitting. And The Undertaker is in the ring behind CM Punk. CM Punk looks like he's seen a ghost. Could this mean it's going to be Undertaker, CM Punk at Mania? I guess we will find out. Good night, guys.